What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Pokey Corner Podcast, episode two, with my boy Eric. And today's topics are going to be any everywhere, anything, and any. Is that the hook? I guess that's the nice. Hook. It's... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go into our first question right off the bat. That was a horrible, horrible transition. But for our first question for today's podcast, it's a. Uh, there's, a, there's been a lot of uh, crazy stuff on whatnot and just other bidding services. And uh, yeah, just what do you think? What do you think, Eric? What do you think? What about do that? I think? think about, let's just go on whatnot. What do I think? What do you think about whatnot? You don't want me to go on whatnot. That's God. Um, it's too easy, man. Yeah. Swipe, swipe, swipe. My money's gone. Yeah. Um, do you actually use whatnot? I have used whatnot. I actually, I actually bought one of, one of my favorite cards from yeah. whatnot. Um, my yeah, and you felt like comfortable? No, of course not. Oh, but geez. you know, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, one of my favorite cards. The I bought my a graded uh, reversed uh, legendary collection Dragonite. Uh -huh. um, I bought it off of whatnot. It was looking for it, whatever. You know, yeah. maybe I was gonna buy it single, get it graded. It was there. It wasn't like a bid item though. Oh, okay. um, it was just oh. like in his store. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have also bid on stuff. Sketchy. Um, dude. very so sketchy. sketchy. Again, very easy to just keep on going. I like, I, uh, and I have no willpower. Yeah, the guy that I used to buy my booster boxes from, he was on whatnot, and I, I had no idea like what it was, and I just like popped on a few times, and mm -hmm. I was like. Dude, how does like what is the regulations of like of like this? And then you know, obviously like, none. Obviously none. And then um, with the whole uh, like the Blake break stuff. Yeah. Of like the how turning into it, it like a carnival game. You mm -hmm. know, it's like oh, catch the energy or whatever. Yeah. I don't like that's definitely uh, gambling. Oh, one hundred percent. I mean, <laughs> it's not like even on like because I mean not to steer away from whatnot already but like on tiktok there's a lot of not necessarily gambling but it like mm -hmm. it's when you're doing live streams and stuff like that yeah it's already seen yeah. as gambling because yeah. you don't know what you're getting in the packs yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. even though it is a product yeah and um, gambling. but a lot of a lot of whatnot streams that i've seen and some tiktoks they do make it kind of a game mm -hmm. and which makes it kind of more like yeah more uh what's the word like just concerning because it's yeah. like you're you're trying to appeal maybe to to make it like a fun, kind of enticing thing, like 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 no, it's it's Pokemon cards. Yeah. You, you don't know what you're getting. Yeah. This whole like uh find like get the right name the the energy card or yeah, yeah. or whatever. I've seen a lot of them. Yeah. Um. Uh. I don't know. I think it's it's. I think it's a little slippery. Yeah. And obviously it has. Dude, I just okay. So I I tell I tell them to just stay away from whatnot. Just it's in your best interest to stay away from whatnot. I'm, I'm even like sketched out about like Mercari, mm -hmm. like some of the. Oh yeah, definitely. No, no, no don't, don't be sketched. You should be a hundred percent like, like ran off of, yeah. of Mercari. You, you, buy, you buy stuff in Mercari? No. Too? Oh, oh well, okay. Way back. Way back. You know, I, uh, I I was I was buying a Pokemon game. Yeah. Um, and I had bought it. Whatever, gotten it. No, not gotten it. Um, but it was like <laughs> order. <laughs> Spoiler alert! I did not get it. Um, uh, yeah. order confirmation, emails, whatever, and then. Uh, weeks went by, then I realized, huh, I never got that game. No. <laughs> and then I, I go on. It's still like it was still. I think at the time, like, I guess pending or something, yeah, or waiting right. on chipper. It was pending, all right. Um, <laughs> and then I, I don't. I honestly, to the life of me, can't remember if I actually was able to cancel it or not. Either way, I, I think I don't know if I was out that whatever oh, money it was. Yeah. But um, dude, like Mercari, like all the like. The, the deals are always too good to be true. And I always tell them, like, dude, if the deals are too good to be true, they are. I mean, I sent you some crazy stuff. Yeah, you I, have sent me some yeah, crazy I stuff. Him I have to tell you some Yeah, la yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> last week I sent him this guy. He was, uh, did you read the description? Yeah, I totally read everything. So, so the description for, uh, he was selling the Moonbrion for 400 bucks, or 300 bucks. Under 300 bucks, I believe. Mm -hmm. I'll pull up the receipt. Maybe I'll insert the image right here. Maybe. Um, so I sent it to Eric and I was like, I was like, dude, this is a bet. And then he goes, not me actually consider buying, considering it buying this Moonbrion. But the, the, the description was, he's like, oh, I'm missing a tough place financially. I really have to get rid of this card. I was like, which some, I mean, to be honest, people true. do do that. True. That is a I know, thing. I know, but I watch a lot of you, yeah. YouTube and you know, I, I don't really trust people like that. And, I don't know. I'm just like, dude. I don't want to pull up with 400 bucks. Yeah. Some dude just like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Well, remember that one uh, post that I had sent you? It was, I think it was some person selling like four, 
th like three or four boxes of like evolving, evolving skies, yeah. and it was like it was expensive, but it wasn't yeah. it, it didn't match up to like the cost for box. Even close. Not even close. <laughs> yeah. And then and you were like, yeah, let's go in on it, and I'm yeah. like, yeah, and then. Uh, Obviously, yeah. naive. But the best thing is to use your credit card. Never use your debit card. Because even if you do get scammed, and once the process payment, once mm -hmm. yeah. payment, you just tell them, like, hey, I, this, this is... Bold to assume yeah. I have credit. So, um, But, yeah, just, I mean, in, in all aspects, like anything else goes, the boring answer, yeah. just do a little research on True. the people you're buying from or the website you're buying on. Yeah. Um, because I've had, personally, good... Um, Nothing but good things from whatnot. Not nothing but good things. I've had good transactions. Yeah. Uh, but it is, you know, use at your own risk. Use at your own risk. Um, yeah. And then transition to like some other kind of sites. Yeah. TikTok, I've had nothing but good kind of things too, you know? Yeah. I have this one person that I kind oh, of not you. solely buy from, mm -hmm. um, but you know, he has a lot of good deals on like uh, singles and stuff like that. And he's kind of, he's kind of like, you get a feel for some people and he, he's kind of the guy that's just like he's in it for mm -hmm. the community yeah. and he sometimes yeah there is good people out there yeah. for sure i'm not gonna say that but uh but yeah so like my 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 you know final statement on the whole one just stay away from one not it's getting worse and worse yeah. dude it's it's just play the safe route um and that's gonna like i said it's gonna transition into our next topic is just uh where to go where do you go to buy cards and Oof, where I got, do I go? I, i'm 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 boring dude I yeah got, I'm, I'm TCG and eBay. Oh, I'm not boring. I I, I go for the thrill. I have my, oh my phone. I pull out my phone right now. I have oh like 20 gosh, million tabs dude. of just bunch of like. This is really funny to be asking me because like again, um, not that they're sketchy websites, yeah, but they're like sketchy. they're not okay. Yeah. <laughs> they're not TCG player. They're you yeah. know they're just other people that you know have the license to sell Pokemon. Yeah. Or other TCG. You know, yeah. and sometimes just English. Um, no, sometimes they yeah, have Japanese, Japanese. stuff. Oh, okay. Um. Because I know there's a few, because um, I was watching a PokeVault video the other day mm -hmm. and he was going over uh, top places to buy Japanese uh, cards and I haven't heard of like half of them, yeah. but yeah, maybe. Um, there, but I mean, that being said, I have ordered from a lot of these like, what's the, like, just, they, just chill ch websites. Uh -huh. um, and again, nothing, I mean, one of the websites that I got like my booster boxes from uh -huh. came in, obviously... I mean, good condition, way better than the Pokemon Center. Yeah, you know, condition. Yeah. They just shoved that thing in a box and yeah, said, "See you later." They didn't even they didn't even put it in like like. I had bought two booster back two booster boxes. It was the uh, did I say I, the Fusion Strike and um, Brilliant Stars, mm -hmm. and I think I, I remember pulling out like the little bubble, you know, the little the bubble, yeah. Uh, but it was it was like flat. But it was literally like just like a. a single two like two pieces oh my and then, god because it was you know the box was already kind of just i don't know yeah that being said they'll, they'll buffer each other out they'll just be yeah yeah that's exactly how that works you know, you know? Oh, um man. we definitely don't work for a package company yeah we both work for you yes so. uh, yeah um yeah so uh i personally just stick to ebay and and tcg player i'm just like i i i th these cards are not cheap I'm just gonna play it safe. Mm -hmm. That's just my. I'm like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, what am I gonna save? Like ten bucks mm -hmm. on a sketchy website? You know, I'm not willing to take those risks unless, like, um, I, I send him stuff on OfferUp all the time. I love OfferUp. I love Facebook Marketplace, but it's definitely like, I don't know. If you're like a little kid, I don't think that's like a smart route yeah. to go. Definitely bring a parent if you're a woman. Uh -huh. If you're not yourself. a little kid, though, I'll name a few. <laughs> um, if you're a big kid. If you're a big kid, um, some of my go-tos um, are a new one that I kind of just found. I'm pretty sure it's not like... Go Craigslist. It's not new or small. <laughs> no. I, and I'll, I'll have him put the link in, you know, in the bio because yeah. I don't want to get the name wrong, mm -hmm. which I probably will, but it's like Texas Poke. Mm -hmm. Texas Poke Center, Texas Poke like, yeah. Pokemart, Texas Pokemart. Uh -huh. um, Pokemart USA? Huh? Pokemon USA? No, it's like Texas Pokemon. Oh, Texas like, Pokemon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but, and what I like about them is like they have like, because they, they have a TikTok. Um, and so like, you know, there is that direct kind of like mm -hmm. correlation between the buyer and like, you know, you were kind of seeing, you know, the people. Yeah. You know, if you are if you choose to do the live stream. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's not like a total mystery behind, you know, mm -hmm. the screen. Yeah. But uh, um, they also, they have box breaks. So like if you, if you are interested in like, a lot of older gens, yeah. you know, they do offer, you know, box breaks where you can just on the live stream, 
get your packs, pick your pack, whatever. Yeah. Um, but they also help. They sell English sealed. They sell Japanese sealed, and they also sell like pretty like um, like throwback kind of stuff. Not like mm. super throwback, but like yeah, you know, stuff that you're not gonna yeah. find in your typical kind of yeah site. Um, they also, I think, uh, just like the other day, they're selling uh, Japanese EV heroes oh, for sick. a good deal. Good deal. Like I yeah. think it's either box like break? four. No, not a box break. Like a oh, sealed sure. box. Like okay. 45, five something, which yeah. usually they're going for like high five, six, 600. It's a good deal. Yeah. Um, um, so I don't know who their supplier is, but yeah. they got the, yeah. that's where I, they're, that's who I bought the, um, the unified mines, unified mines from Damn, yeah. jealous. super jealous, um, Japanese unified mines, which yeah. is not unified mines. Uh, what is it called? No idea. Where I do it? know, but it's, it's Japanese Unified Minds. It is Japanese yeah. Unified yeah. Minds, but it's called something else. Oh, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. Um, I, to add to that, like I do like support. I feel more comfortable. I don't know about them, but I do feel more comfortable purchasing from like PokeTubers. Like, yeah, you know, like because you you're like, oh, I like I I you you know, it's like giving your money to like small business yeah compared to like if you just go to like the pokemon poke center 100 percent. you really don't know who you're giving really giving your money mm -hmm. to but that's oh shoot fly. um that's yeah that's where my uh yeah my, my like that goes, goes back to my my tiktok and I, guy I, feel, I know it's and it's it's just complete mind game but i just feel safer yeah and i don't think that i mean it's not completely logical but shout out blue rips on tiktok oh yeah okay, see we'll put maybe we'll, maybe we'll put the link the tiktok link and the okay so I think that's good. That's I think that's a we cover that topic pretty well, right? Just TCG. Another one is all poke TCG. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, I had another. I, I, I had to drop some names. We're not. Uh, we're not. Sponsored. No sponsors. No sponsors. Yet. But if they want to. But if they want to, you know. You know. Throw us a pack of evolving skies. You know. That's that's your that's your price. What's your price? I mean, a little bit more. Two packs. Of <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, All right, so next uh, next question is gonna be, um, uh, what's your next small Pokemon purchase? In the very this, is, oh today's Friday. I was like, oh Friday, oh next Friday. Payday. Fr yeah, today's Payday. Um, Maybe this weekend. What are you picking up? What are you picking up? This. I'm, I'm this gonna weekend? be honest. I don't know if I do small pur pur purchases. My bad, baller. No, no, not baller, <laughs> not baller. Um, but I just like. She, she think I can just go to a store and buy one pack. It's like, but you're, a, but you do go to uh, local game stores though. I do, yeah. I do. Yes. Yeah, I, I have trouble. Buying, I know a guy. I, I have trouble buying sealed stuff from local game stores. I love buying singles from local game stores because mm -hmm. yeah, you get to go there, you get to like see grab it. the carp, see it, fill yeah. it, you know. Because you always know like a booster box at one of those places, or even like a EX box or one of those like. You know those mm -hmm. those uh, those 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 sets. They're gonna be like twenty dollars more. So I'm just like I'm just gonna buy off TCG and save myself yeah. the twenty thirty bucks. And especially like, for me, it's like when I put a TCG order in, it's multiple stuff because I'm already thinking like, okay, how much is these next four videos gonna cost me for the month? I'm gonna put in a big order and hopefully I can buy it through one person and mm -hmm. then it'll give me a better deal. Because TCG, dude, like, dude, the deals on there are insane. They're so yeah. good. They're so good. Like I, it's, and they're always, it's so cheap. They're always so cheap. Like I ordered like two of those, uh, Annihilate e EX boxes. I got them for like 12 bucks, you know, Target, they're like what? 20 bucks, something like that. So, oh yeah. Never buy from Target and never buy from Target. Um, that should have been on like the where to buy from yeah. and where not to buy from. <laughs> sure, never. Yeah. Um, but a small purchase. Um, I mean, just continuing to buy like those sleeve packs. Like I talked last, uh, mm -hmm. video, mm -hmm. um, just sleeve packs for my sealed collection. Are you going to Target? And buying those? No, no, no. You, I you buy guys? those online. Okay. Um, or Best Buy because I get like little coupons. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Cool. Um, but yeah, just wherever. I mean, honestly, that's part of some of my. Um, uh, a lot of. Uh, I found some good sites that have like. I bought an EV. Uh, not EV Heroes. Evolving Skies mm -hmm. sleeve booster packs, which is like. You know, you don't really find, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Not even in like some of these stores or or whatever. And I don't will not buy loose packs. Because I just don't trust anyone. I don't trust them. So that's why I'm doing like the sleeved. Yeah. And I'm not gonna name this website, but because <laughs> <laughs> I think last I checked, he only has like nine left in stock. So Ooh. those are mine. Yeah. <laughs> um. And are you are you getting them at at like 
they're they're cheap because like not cheap but like because nine you know, bucks you go I yeah so much. You, you go around you go I around you know how much they are though right now a lot of places are selling like uh, bombing skies for like 10 11 12 dollars oh. and so for them being uh sleeved packs mm -hmm. for nine dollars yeah, way better steel and i'm yep. i scooped i already scooped up like yeah 10 yeah um 10 yeah well 10 13 the last time yeah uh just got his package great packaging again yeah. not telling you yeah um, <laughs> but uh <laughs> um gatekeep <laughs> yeah straight up but uh so those are i mean those are continuously to be my small purchases i also that's kind just, of a, that's kind of a big purchase if you're just constantly making well let's those. say i'm just buying one at a time then. technically so small technically and that's technically that's like dollar cost averaging into the market you know over time you're just like oh i'm gonna buy okay 10. stocks right kind of I, I get yeah you're, you're like yeah, i'm gonna yeah. buy, ten, I'm gonna buy yeah. 10 10 evolving skies pack a week that's very smart you know because for all we for like i said for all we know is it smart <laughs> it's definitely smart yeah it doesn't hurt as much right i didn't get the raise oh good <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so yeah so that's your yeah that's your... well i also and i maybe i shouldn't explain it or mention this because i don't remember the car that i bought i literally just bought a car on ebay like two nights ago mm -hmm. and i can't remember what card it was uh, isn't that bad expensive just no it was like 20 bucks <laughs> oh, okay yeah i guess expensive yeah. to some people yeah so for me for my smaller purchases i'm like so i work i'm i'm on a computer i'm just i'm i'm bored and when i have idle hands i just i, I go to tcg player and just start looking and so i told i told you guys uh last week or two weeks ago to Buy the Crydon and Rhydon from uh, Scarlet and Violet Base, mm -hmm. dude. Tw they got both those cards for like twenty-seven bucks, under thirty bucks. No. It's like, dude, absolute steals. Uh, my next card that I really, really want to buy is uh, I want to buy more base set. And I think I, I, mm. I, I saw. Okay, so I got a crazy uh, DM, kind of sketchy, but uh, from a friend of a friend. I kind of know him, not really. Um, skated with him a few times, but uh, he had a bunch of base set. Sent me a video, and he was like trying to get 400 bucks for all these cards, right? Those two Zards in there, a Blastoise, Chansey, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan. Okay. But so then we get. I so I said four. So he said out for 450, and I said okay, I'll buy them all for four, right? And then he comes back, and I think he did his research. Came back and he God was like, "God forbid he do his research." Yeah, he did, his, he did his research and then he was like, "Oh, I think these are all gonna like grade well." And I was like, "Okay, you can go grade those, or you can just sell them to me for." I'm giving him. I was giving him the raw price. Mm -hmm. It's like twenty, thirty dollars a pop yeah, per card. Yeah, so I told him, I was like, "Dude, you're gonna." I was like, "And the chances." And I, I'm gonna say this again. I, I say this all the time about vintage. If you do not rip, I uh, there was a podcast today. Like you know, uh, cool train, cool trainer Ryan. You mentioned him. It's a dude that drinks whiskey and he yep. throws the V cards. Mm -hmm. So he's on his boy does a podcast. Him and Pokey Rev, they grew up together. Oh. I didn't know I, all those all those like Lord. big dudes, they all freaking grew up together. Crazy. But um he was saying he was like he was like if with the vintage, like it is so hard to get it's a, a nine and ten. Uh, yeah. Nine or ten. It's almost like if you even pack fresh, it's gonna get it seven or eight. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Mm -hmm. So I was explaining this to this buyer, I'm like, good luck. You're not gonna get a nine or a ten. Going back, going back and forth. And I said, you know what? Thank you for uh, your offer, but like, I'm, I'm good. This is, it was too much. I was like, you're gonna, you're gonna make, you're gonna make way more money if you just sell them to me. So, yeah, but, especially also too, if he, uh, depending on which grading company he goes through, because I know PSA. It's twenty five bucks, right? Um, I don't know the exact cost, but I mean, they also there's like a margin of like a, of fifteen k. If oh, never mind then. Yeah, I think that margin. I could be wrong. Let, let us know in the comment section down below if, if I, I'm probably way wrong, but I think it's, oh, maybe it's fifteen hundred. 500 is the yeah 15k is crazy 15k but, might be crazy but, but that's off. a few that's a that's a baseball card you know yeah that's a few baseball cards but um so yeah so i real i dude horrible answer but like i want i want some charizards i got I one some base set. you have one though oh yeah, yeah. oh i'm sorry yeah. i was just i was, I was just dude, saying dude, I, have I have a friend i'll show you i'll show you this after i might i might put the video the, the video on i'll find it dude i have a friend that literally has like probably 50 of them and he has 50 of every single base set card. And Why? I'm, I'm not even joking. Cause it, 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 cause he just has them as for when he was a little kid. So when he was a little kid, he just had 50 of each one. I, and you're not going to believe me, but I'm going to, I'm going to put the video in. I will put the video in. Better be in 4k. Yeah, it will. Yeah. <laughs> it could be good. And it's not, and it's not fake because, uh, I don't, um, 
uh, the he owns a workout company, and the pack packaging tape is like all over the. Mm -hmm. So I know it's him, mm -hmm. and I was like, dude, you're. And he won't sell me one. <laughs> I mean, like, you well, give no, because then he'll have fifty of each one, but then only forty nine of Charizard. It's true, very so, true. You know. But uh, yeah, so I wanna, I wanna, I'm probably gonna drop two hundred dollars get get another Zard, but uh, yeah, with TCG, it's it's so it's it's so. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of risky because you can't really, f obviously you can't feel it. And the, the be like, oh, near mint or lightly played, and you're like, bro, this is like soggy, you know? Yeah. <sighs> but Especially cause like, I mean, cause like I bought, um, did you buy it, did, did you, is that your base set from your childhood? That's base set from childhood. Yes. <sighs> I didn't, I didn't pull it, my brother, brother did. Oh, nice. Yeah. What like, was, uh, what, uh, if you had to grade it, what would you think? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> lightly, um, lightly played? Yeah, no, actually, my, maybe near mint minus. My <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, PSA four? No, it was. Uh, it's it's not that great. Uh, <laughs> but when getting back into Pokemon, because I mean, I Pokemon cards, I always go back in. Yeah, I would always go back and forth. Yeah. Um, just last time when I actually stuck with it, mm -hmm. um, I they were in a Ziploc bag, gallon bag, oh, um, my God. shoved in a, oh. another box and bag in my parents' shed outside. No. Yeah. No water damage or anything like that, but like, oh like, bro, they're not, God. they're not even in sleeves. Yeah. Because I, because we had them in a binder um, at one yeah. point. Um, it three, was a clap, like it was those three ring, three ring binders, yeah, just bending that, them uh, like hell. You know, those, I don't know if you remember what they look like. The classic, like, I, I want to say it was green. There's like, a, there was like a blue, yellow, Black. green, and they all have like, they had, all had like one starter on it. Uh, I'll uh -huh. post a picture. Yeah, I, got, I have a picture to say. Okay, okay. Um, but we had one of those, and then like it kind of like tore apart. Something happened to it. Yeah, and we just took them all out. Yeah, I know and, exactly what type of binder you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so very '90s. This last time, uh, I just taken them out of the thing, mm -hmm. put them in a in their own little sleeves, mm -hmm. and then I put them in a binder, and then I realized, oh, binders are bad, and then I mm -hmm. have them all like top loaded. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh, kind of not kind of still on topic, but. Uh, uh, as far as like uh, vintage, people will think like again going mm -hmm. back, people will think that their cards are all gonna come back like near me yeah. or a nine or a ten. And I'm like, the more I, the more I'm in this market, the more I hear like, um, there's a guy on YouTube that he that he, spe he specializes in nothing but vintage, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing but I think, and he was like, he's like, oh, it's all about the classics. That's his hook or hook line or whatever. But he was like saying he's like. Even if you have uh, those cards, like in a three, it's like say the best case, best case scenario, right? Your your parents were like, "Oh, you pulled this card, cool. And now we're gonna put it in a three ring binder. Now it's in an attic. It for how long? It's how long has it been? Maybe 10, 15 years, right? You have to think about the moisture that's been in your house yeah. from season to season. So when you pull that thing out, it, there's gonna be some wear and tear, dude. Oh, 100 percent. But <clears throat> like I there's said, whitening these, on the back. There's it, yeah, it's it's gonna be bad. So. Just, just be careful. I think like there's so many good, um, you know. There's always, there's always parents that are always trying to sell like the, their kids' collection. But like, dude, it's don't. Not you, my you, mom. You have to like, oh, because your parents are collectors, right? My mom was is yeah. mm, collector hoarder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but my mom was very, uh, um, thank thankfully so. Like, yeah. Would not let you know me take the cards to school. school. Would like Smart. no one could see them. Like, nice. Um, I think my mom just was very untrusting people. Yeah. But um, which yeah. you know again, rightfully so. Yeah, for sure. Uh, because there there do be some people out there that. Uh, mm -hmm. I, dude, if my mom, if my parents did that to my cards, like my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and my Pokemon cards, I would be a very rich oh, man. I, oh, oh. Yeah. Never mind. They're minor too. Some of yeah. Some of my, I did I tell you I my my parents they sent back some of my mm -hmm. Pokemon cards. They were literally bent in half. I have a, Lord, there was a, oh, what card was it? It was a, oh, I'm gonna freak, I'm gonna, I'm blanking out, but was it my Zapdos? May, it might have been my Zapdos, mm -hmm. one legendary, legendary bird. Literally, it looks like I just grabbed it, folded it, and put it into my pocket. You probably did. And I probably did. <laughs> and I probably was super, and it was like, yeah. Zapdos is my favorite uh, legendary bird. So I probably was stoked and I just put it in my pocket and had it with me for, I think even went to, I like, like I was, I was trying to like bring back the memories. I'm pretty sure like was in the wash and I saved it, <laughs> saved, <laughs> saved it. And True hero. oh my gosh, dude, I felt, uh, you, did you, have you seen that TikTok where the guy's like, 
he it's they play like the and the arms of it you know, and then yeah. it shows all this his base set cards mm -hmm. and then it's like oh the last one's gonna hurt and it's literally 10 zards just just done yeah that's that, that, that was me so when i got that box back dude i my heart I, I I knew what was up. I knew what was in there. So, but uh, okay. Um, I feel like I don't know egg book question we were on. So I think there's a good transition. Cool. Into already talked about vintage. Mm -hmm. What uh what was your first gen? Oh Probably yeah. Probably easy Perfect. for this old oh. guy. Uh, uh base it. <laughs> what base it? <laughs> I would have never guessed. <laughs> um, uh, what yeah. was, okay. So what was my what was my first gen or what was my favorite gen? Um, let's go, let's go first, like first gen in, in okay. cards, games, as I think this was a, yeah, it was a, it was, it was a question mark up right there. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, first, first, uh, uh, card set was base set, obviously. Um, and then it all, it's like, it's all such a blur. Like, I, yeah, um, I understand. Did I send you the, like, um, I mean, I don't, how, what, what were you, five years apart? Four years apart? Me and you? Yeah. You're 26. I'm pretty young. So you're- I'm 25. 25? Okay, yeah. so we're seven, seven years apart. Sure. Okay. So, okay, so you don't remember the OG commercials of Pokemon where they're trying to fit them into the bus? I do, but only because I had VHSs of like the episodes uh, of the, of the was movies. Was this on there? Yeah. Oh, it's, that's I think, so sick. I think the commercials are before- uh, That's so sick. It's before like the first movie, I think. It plays like these- like, No, um, yeah. that's there's, there's the one of, of the them in the buzz. Yeah. And then there's like a, another one, I, I think of them in like a, uh, uh, like a, shoot. Like the pictures, when you're taking pictures for like, you know, the- There's a detect, there's a detective scene where they're, t there's the, the commercial is you're getting flashed. Uh huh. Someone takes a photo of you, and then there's the Pokemon that are trying to hide. It. Yeah. Yes. That's what you're talking about. Yes. That's the same. It, they, that that's is, a, that, it's, is that like a Pokemon Snap commercial? Maybe. No. It's no? the same. It's the same commercial. It's just long. They're just chopped up. Same commercial. No. Oh. Yeah. It's just chopped up. Never mind. Um, major nostalgia, dude. They're like nostalgia really is like a drug, because when <sighs> I it. when I saw when I I don't, I just saw re rewatched that commercial. Mm -hmm. Bro, that's what I was hooked. I oh, was yeah. I, I had no idea what was going on. Yeah. I, was hooked. I was like, how do I get a Game Boy? And how I mean I was probably what seven? Yeah. How do I get a Game Boy? And yeah, like now. You yeah. know, I didn't even know what the game mechanics were. I don't even does it show game mechanics? Um I don't think so. I don't think yeah, so. I, don't I think, think, think it's so. it's literally just them in yeah. the real world and then yeah. they get smushed into the Game Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so so okay, base set and then um uh red version was yeah red version red mm -hmm. version was uh my game and then i made no sense but i picked squirtle <laughs> right. i don't know why yeah. i uh picked squirtle for red uh -huh. version um and then yeah for as far as like the cards like like i said it was all mixed into one mm -hmm. and it was just it was just base hit like yeah. my first pack was uh the this is a blastoise uh pack art which was oh man i i <sighs> I'm not. Fun. I'm not like one of those. I'm not one of those collectors that I feel I, re I have this like urge to rip open one of my childhood packs. I don't really care. I be cool. I want to. It'd be cool. Oh yeah. You know, but I'm. How much is a base set pack? Five hundred bucks. Oh, I don't care to open Four. a base pack. But, but yeah. Are like, you whatever? Two hundred, three hundred. Yeah. Okay, your first. Your first. Uh... I want some of those middle sets, man. But I'm saying for your first, like, okay. Oh like, my. To the, open. The, first, yeah, yeah, like you with little Eric, right? His first pack of Pokemon cards. What's, what was that and how much is it you think and is it even worth it you know definitely not worth it's it. not worth it because oh. you were uh, maybe. grew up in what what era i you're way after mine <laughs> <laughs> yes um well okay so let me let me go through mine i'm okay. mine's it's kind of similar to yours a little blurry only because my older brother who is five years older than me mm -hmm. um got into it before i did mm -hmm. obviously because i you know mm -hmm. wasn't born yeah um uh or was still just very young mm -hmm. and so my brother had um um i honestly don't remember if my brother ever had like red or blue mm. but he had yellow mm. and um and crystal mm. um and so my first C game crystal was in color right i believe so yes yeah um was yellow I think yellow, yellow might have been it had so it was color. like it was like <laughs> it wasn't color but i'm pretty sure yeah i had like reds or something yeah. like they had like little hints of yeah because red and blue yeah. i played that thing on the black and white game boy yeah yeah <laughs> no um so my first game i believe was crystal and then like 
yellow, a little bit of that. Yeah. Um, but I, newsflash, I just, I did not like playing Pokemon. Yeah. I was a show guy. Yeah. Show and then like the cards. Yeah. Um, just cause like, maybe you have my little small brain. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was just, hard. Dude. To me, to, like, it was not, not only was it hard, so I got stuck really easy. That's why I stopped playing. Yeah. But also to me, I was like, oh, well, all it is like pressing buttons, like, oh, this move, this move, this move. Yeah. I, w I will give credit to the game that uh, got me like back into it mm -hmm. Diamond. Diamond. Okay. And then I did not play. Diamond. I immediately went back and I played. Um, did you go back and play? So wait, but you said your first game was Crystal. So no, first game that I ever picked up and played. Oh, yes, okay. Crystal. Okay. But the first game that I I, I fully immersed myself into, played, mm -hmm. finished, everything like that, understood. But your brother gave you Yellow. My brother, yeah, Yellow Crystal. And who was your who was your starters? Uh, Cinnacool that was, that was and Pikachu. Okay. Because Yellow yeah, is Pikachu. Yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get all yeah. of them. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. Yep. Um. So yes, so okay. I'll say Crystal was my first uh, okay. uh, instinct to the game. Yeah. And then to the cards, this is this also gets a little dicey just because it, it's not as easy to remember like, oh, base set, because like I didn't start with it. Yeah. Um, which, uh, so I was on that back half of like the Hoenn mm -hmm. and beginnings of, of um, Diamond and Pearl, mm -hmm. I believe, unless it's not Hoenn. Yeah. Uh, or Gen 3 at least, mm -hmm. uh, which was like Hall and Phantoms and uh, Crystal Guardians. Yeah. Because I, oh my news, gosh. I, Crazy I have that, uh, I have that Charizard. Oh, nice. The Delta, yeah. the yeah. electric typing Charizard. Yeah. Um, so that's fun. Uh, Dude, those, the, the pack art on those are yeah. insane. I don't remember opening them have at all, but I like, I have. So. But you, you have some? You have? You I have, have the dragon, uh, the, the Charizard. What was the full, well, no, I'm saying about the pack arts. I don't the, remember. The, no, the booster packs. Like you, have, yeah. you have sealed booster packs? No. Oh, oh no. So God, asking. no. That's what I was asking. You think I'd, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you would have ripped them. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but for sure, my first, uh, like, that I know and remember opening, um, Heart Gold and oh, yeah, Soul so Silver. Yeah. And then Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Unleashed. That's when I got my. Suicune and uh, mm -hmm. Ente Legendary. Do you know what year that was? 2010. Ooh. I think Heart Gold Soul Silver era was 2010. Yeah, Ooh. that's when that set came out. Dang. And I, so I was, I was so out. Yeah, that. you were out. Yeah. I was. I mean, I was in high school. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But Poor so that those are the sets that I remember opening. Yeah. Um, because I had already had opened some mm -hmm. previously because I mm -hmm. I have cards from all those other eras. Yeah. yeah. But I just. You know, yeah. don't remember them. Did you? Did, was there like a like for me? Okay, so is there like a specific like highlight as a child? Do you remember like being like for me? It Opening was, cards. Yeah. So for oh, me, yeah. for me, it was um, uh, Team Rocket packs. Oh. So my Seven Eleven mm -hmm. in the hood uh, still had still had Pokemon cards. Cool. Yeah. Right under and uh, this so. Side note, I loved 7-Eleven as a kid. Dude, 7-Eleven, like 7-Eleven needs to bring back Pokemon. I think some, some 7-Eleven still have Pokemon. But um, I remember going down to uh, the 7-Eleven and going to go buy more base, base mm -hmm. set and I saw the Team Rocket packs. So I was like, what the heck is that? That looks super cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I never pulled anything. Like I never got a big card, but just the whole like they're not dark type, but you know the Team Rocket type. Yeah, was so like the like, like yeah dark Dragonite. So sick, dude! Like yeah. that. That was like one of my and I I, I remember that feeling. You know, I remember really it's sitting down. Dragonite. Yeah, it, it just gave it just gave me a whole different perspective on Pokemon from what I had. And then I that I trans I transitioned into Yu Gi Oh like two years later, but it almost kept me in Team Rocket packs. And Shut like up. now I when I go back. Do team the team rocket packs or, or the, mm -hmm. the cards in team rocket even dude i i still have all i i, I have all the commons for <laughs> that were in the box that yeah. my mom sent me back obviously there's no hollows in there but uh dude the cards are so sick like, yeah they're oh, yeah. so sick my memory is um is involves actually the heart goes also over unleashed mm -hmm. um i was me and my cousin were like pretty inseparable yeah uh, growing up like, we rc just, yeah rc uh, uh, we're best friends you know growing mm -hmm. up both into pokemon he's the one that got me into playing diamond so he got me mm -hmm. back into the games yeah um he doesn't collect pokemon at all or do no any pokemon? Uh, um he grew up it, we like <laughs> I, I go over sometimes now and yeah we'll open a pack like he opened the gita that i got oh sick i went i bought a little uh the booster little box of six pack yeah the booster um box. we split them up nice. he ended up pulling the the gita Tight. um but uh so yeah we uh i used to, i was with him and his mom and we were at her work um this is back bef uh um I don't know if you remember North Northside on the um, by the Walmart uh -huh. uh, by the like the Rite Aid. Mm -hmm. So we 
she had a uh, like a an office right there. The car there was a car shop there. No, 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 no. no. Well, I don't know, but yeah. we walked to Target. Uh huh. Um, we bought some packs. Mm -hmm. We went back. We went behind the um, the Michaels. Uh huh. And like there's like there's just, like a walkway and whatever you see yeah. down and like there's like there's, we just sat there, uh -huh. opened our packs. Yeah. Um, I got nothing. Uh -huh. He got I think he got one of the cool cards. I don't remember what it was. Um, went back because I got nothing. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, drop more money. and drop more money. So even even back then, you're, Eric you're, was a little nuisance. Yeah. Um, bad with money. But uh, uh, went back, bought some more tins and packs. Yeah. And oh gosh, if I can go back like that, just how yeah. surreal. Like just like you know nostalgia of Crazy. just. just being with your bud in the yeah. back of a store, yeah. opening Pokemon. Yeah, for sure. Um, and that's when I had yeah. gotten my um, Entei Lugia, nice. or not Entei Lugia, Entei oh. Sweet Sweet Yeah, um, fire. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, okay, like uh, this, I don't know why I just remember this, but like I don't know. Was there a superstition that you had to picking the packs? Cause crazy, 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 crazy thought that I yeah. had. Um, I opened. I op I remember opening Jungle. Um, the blisters, single the blisters, mm -hmm. right? And my friends would always tell me, they're like, oh, if you have to go grab them and look to the side, if it's bent, it means that the hollow is like pressing up against mm. the cards or whatever. So we would put them all on the, the, the desks yeah. on the, or whatever, uh, what was, if we were in Target, or not Target, if we were in Toys R Us or whatever, and we like, oh, Toys R Us. We lay them all down, bro. There'd be like three of the kids. There'd be like 20, you know, blisters. Yeah. Never worked. Yeah, <laughs> no, you were supposed to weigh them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, uh, like, you know, you're looking. Was yeah. There, was yeah. there any superstition that you had? My only superstition that I could like remember. Do you have one now? I do. Do I have one now? Well, no, I don't really go into like. Oh. I, because if I. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't really buy like single packs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just buying a box. Yeah. But like, I used to, um, it's not nothing crazy. I just I could never grab like the first thing that I saw. Mm -hmm. um, so I like I you know kind of <laughs> I like digging through and you know yeah. I I pull literally will pull you know From the back like a bunch of things off because you, you know not to rip them but yeah. like yeah. pull them off the little thing grab which one I want yeah obviously a pack art that I yeah. like and, uh, and the altar that you want is literally right in front of your face all the time always yeah always. of course yeah. yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, like God gave you a layup. In it's like your, hey man it was right there. It was right there. You're like <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, but uh, so other than that, I mean, I don't know if I had any other super uh, superstition. Maybe I did. Yeah. Maybe I do now, and I just don't realize that it's actually a, probably a superstition. Probably. Yeah. I'm, I'm the same way though. I never take the first one. Yeah. I always. I, w I don't pull from the back. I just. I'll. Yeah. I'll just pull from the middle. I think that's less a Pokemon thing and more of a you know Gambling. grocery. Oh. Oh. What? I was gonna say grocery thing. You know, you never pull the first. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, that's true. That's true. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I just. I. I overthink. And do you overthink? That's literally my brand. Link in the bio. All right, so uh, we're got, uh, transitioning into um, another question. What? Uh, what was it? What was the next question, Eric? Well, it was. I don't uh, know if you ever actually. Uh, oh, I guess. I mean, just out of like what our first gens were. Um, so you said. Uh, what? Are, what's our favorite gen? You know, being those are that are first. Like mm -hmm. maybe they're not our favorite. Favorite. Uh, is base set? So okay, so I answered with base set. So is base set my favorite? Kanto, region, Kanto region, region, not my favorite. No, not really. Um, ah. Well, I guess Jen could also be like. It, I mean, it depends on what you're considering. Cause like, my favorite thing or whatever, Johto. Mm -hmm. I love Johto. Johto's rad. Uh -huh. But my favorite Gen, <clears throat> Gen Four, mm -hmm. which would be Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, and then Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver. And then the starters for that for that. Come on. Where what? Oh my gosh. For what? For what? Hard Gold Soul Silver? Yeah. I didn't play I didn't play those. It's uh, Johto. It's uh Cinequil, Totodile, and Chibrita. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, oh yeah, Meganium. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, the those three. I, I I swear you need to go buy either like a ROM or like a, a DS. Mm -hmm. Hard Gold Soul Silver. Best games. How much are they right now? Everyone will say like black two, like two. Yeah. Uh how or, much? I show you my friend my friend. If you buy a DS, I'll let you borrow. Hard gold soul silver. Okay. I have like one of each. Right. Sounds a deal. You're maybe, right. maybe, maybe, You're maybe, right. maybe, maybe. Well, I'll beat it in like a week and, and be bored. Cause I, dude, and I, be bored. Yeah, cause I, cause dude, I if 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 I play a Pokemon game, I smash on it for like a week straight. Mm. That's it. Oh, okay, that's fair. Yeah, I will literally finish it. In a week. But um, it's not it's not your average uh, 
Pokemon game. I don't know, dude. Like, uh, uh, the Ken, uh, <clears throat> maybe there's two regions in it. Um, the Ken Sugimori right? art, yeah, Ken His, Sugimori. yeah, dude. Like, that art is crazy. Oh yeah, it's absolutely. Have you seen insane. like the the like the new scans or the high def scans that like no. that had come out? No. Like it shows like the all, like different coloring um, for like um, what they were supposed to intended to be like. No. Super clean. There, there's um, <clears throat> there's a Instagram account that I send you all the time. It's called a 1989 Electabuzz. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just posts, reposts all of his, uh, all of his art. And dude, like I, I so I'm, I'm kind of retracting, but uh, I think Base Set probably is my favorite. You know, just because of they like said nostalgia. So Gen One, Gen One, yeah, just because nostalgia, the commercials. Uh, Sure. Just um, me, I remember going to uh, Toys R Us or KB Toys, KB Toys, and uh, just seeing the Pokemon display was like, I don't know if Yellow Version was out yet, mm -hmm. but it was definitely like, you, okay, so four squares, Blastoise on one, huge, mm -hmm. the Pokemon Game Boy Blue, yeah, and then Hello Blue versions. The other side was red, obviously, yeah, red Game Boy, all that stuff. So I remember that. It definitely like. I would I would kind of feel like a, like a hypocrite if I didn't say Gen sure. 1, but yeah. But. I think I'm gonna retract mine a little bit to Gen 2. <laughs> yeah. Just cause like, I like cause I feel like if I say Gen 4, people are gonna think like Diamond Pearl. Like that's not what I mean by that. That's what, that's I, definitely what they're gonna think. I mean, I mean Gen 2. I know, I know what you would think. Yes. I know what, I know jo what Jodo, thinking. basically Jodo. 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 Uh -huh. Like, you know, Soul mm -hmm. Silver, Crystal, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Yeah. Um, just the Jodo in general. Mm -hmm. Um, I just, I have the episodes on VHS still yeah, yeah. of those episodes and, and i just i love them yeah um so i i didn't grow up in that era i guess because i was already kind of like i was growing up more hoen gen 3 era you're hoen and gen 4 <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's good i was hoen um but uh i still kind of felt that a little bit with like you know yeah my brother had been being previously involved and then just watching like the episodes on repeat or the movies like so yeah yeah definitely gen Two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, what are your guys' favorite generations? Comment down below. Oh, that's good. Maybe one. I'll respond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the mod, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite card in your favorite era, though? Oh. That's easy. I mean, you're gonna be like, these sets are so small, dude. Come on. <sighs> Come on. Um, I guess Aquapolis counts as. Favorite card in my, in my favorite era or my or my favorite gen? Uh, favorite card from your favorite era. Oof, because I don't know my era. Because my era was was whatever Gen Four. Or yeah, you said, but you I was Gen Four. Are you saying Gen Two? What you say? Well, Gen uh, Gen Two is my so Jodo, Kanto, Jodo, Hoenn. Yeah, you know, I like Jodo. Okay, we'll just say like around that time. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, um. Oh no, I don't know if that's. I don't know when this. I don't know when this card like kind of takes place within mm -hmm. the games, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna say that it fits because uh, it's the same card as my all-time favorite card. Yeah. And I just I want to finally plug it because mm -hmm. I didn't get to do that last video, mm -hmm. um, and it's gonna be right here. It's the uh, 1998 mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Japanese Game Boy um, TCG uh, promo uh -huh. of the the Dragonite. So Ooh. 1998 Dragonite Game Boy promo. Okay. Beautiful Dang. card. Dang, that's um, mine's got a little swirl on it too. Yeah, perfect. See, but that's like, oh, you have, oh, you own that card. Dude. I own it. Yeah. See, okay, but we're saying like, okay, obviously, ah, dude, my answer sucks. This is why my answer sucks because I'm on base. Charizard. No. Uh -huh. Oh, the, uh, Mewtwo. Okay. Yeah, I did, I don't know. Mewtwo just, yeah, something about something about. Uh, not as exciting as my answer. Not as exciting but... as I mean, I could have said Charizard, but I wasn't. I wouldn't I be wasn't exciting a, either. I was not a huge Charizard fan. Yeah, yeah. It just looked like a dragon. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I We've argued. We've I definitely argued. chose Charmander and Charizard yeah. in my game plays, yeah. but I'm getting really worn out by Charizard. Yeah, we or have been. We, I've, I've, I've made fun of uh, Eric uh, mm. in the past because I was like, you would, you would, you look like a little Charizard picker. Or a little Charmander figure, because and what'd you say? What was your response? You said it's because yo, know, he's a dragon. I'm like, that's exactly why I didn't pick him. <laughs> you were just trying to like not be like, oh, that's you know, that's the cool one, so I'm gonna be Squirtle different. Is way, Squirtle is way cooler. Nah. Yeah. 
so to wrap up here, Eric, what are you uh, what are you looking to buy like right now? Big big purchase since you're a big purchase guy. I know you're gonna be looking to buy some evolving sky sleeves. That's so funny but because I'm pretty sure this is the second half of the, what it should happen. <laughs> what should have happened? Um, bear with us, guys. We're, we'll um, do, we're, we'll edit, cut that a little bit, we'll right? Edit, yeah. Um, <laughs> no. to, to bring us back, you know, my, and wrap it up. <laughs> my big purchase. Um, I. It's kind of a collection of things. Oh God! Because, okay. Give me it's one. I can't give you one because it, it's all the same kind of like vibe. I I'm trying to buy my my like, what's the word? I guess like Universal Team. Okay. In in all of the uh, okay but Pokemon I, Legendary okay but collection <laughs> Reverse Hollows. This is why we get on a tangent. What? Give me give me one big card that you're gonna buy or a product. Just just one. Just bring it home. Oh, this guy's. Just give me one. He's, he's trying to tame me here. I am. Um, I got. You're like a wild bull. Um. And in, <laughs> in the near future. Legendary collection okay. reverse hollow Gengar. And price. And oh, I don't know. Well, ching ching. Right I haven't here. been looking honestly. Which, okay, it's not my next one. It's gonna, not. It's not my next one. Yeah, <laughs> my next one's probably. I'm eventually gonna buy the. Uh, Gengar um, V Max Alt Art from Ooh, Fusion Strike. Ah, that's a oh, great. That's or a great. I'll pull it. I could pull it. You're definitely not. You're definitely not gonna pull that. By the way, this guy has no hope. Yeah. Mine is uh that type the Typhlosion from from Neo. That's okay. Be, uh, my next one. It was I like have it. uh I think I believe uh it's like a hundred and thirty six dollars if my memory serves me right. I think the Gengar is like hitting over three hundred now. <sighs> Two oh something, gosh, yeah. Which might be too. Neo Genesis is such a small set. It's really, really small. Um, and I've been recently buying cards that have been lightly played, so that saves me on some money in the back end. Mm -hmm. After, I'm I'm the type of guy I'm like, you know what? After I'm gonna put into like one of those like these like thick these like new sleeves. I know I know these are horrible. I hate those. They're so bad. I have a mil we have a billion of them, billions of them, but. If you put a, a lightly played vintage card in here, you know, it just props it up real good, and then mm -hmm. you just top load it real quick, far away, you don't, you can't tell. Yeah. You can't tell that it's lightly played. Yeah, lightly played, it's and like you, pull, you, you pull it out, and it's now heavy played. Yeah, but I can't, but you're not, when are you, when are you gonna pull it out? Oh, do you ever, do you ever, pause? do you ever pull, uh, do you ever pull your cards out and just start handling them? Like Hell that? yeah. That's, you're I'm insane. I'm kidding. No, I do not do that. That's uh, crazy. No, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like a, this, this is a this was a lightly played. Yeah. The problem you with know? those sleeves though is you can't actually see like very well. You can't. You're, I completely agree. That tiny sleeves are way better. Like, yeah. But um, I. I want to see the hollow. True. True. Nice. Uh, supposedly Pokemon's going to uh, change the sleeve texturing. I don't know. It's on Reddit. I could be completely wrong, but I personally hate the new sleeves, but I love the backs. I love the artworks. The artworks are so good. This is another side topic, side note. This, I think I'm gonna get this tattooed on me. Hmm. Like, that is such a rad photo. A rad piece of art, you know? Like, the, the art's so good, even on modern. Um, Who's that? Uh, Cyrus and, uh, is that Dark Gyarados? Nah. It's dark. Not, there's. What do you mean, dark Gyarados? There's or, no uh, dark Gyarados. That's just a card. I don't know. He looks. He that's looks, just. That's just looks, Gyarados. Gyarados always looks like that. He looks dark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for today's video. <laughs> um, I hope you liked our uh, answers, and I hope that they were uh, not hot takes. There's actually no hot takes this time. And until next time, we'll catch you guys. Catch you guys later. I thought I was doing the outro. You, I had to bring it home. Peace. Bye, guys.